Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me in my video. I uh, did something over the weekend for myself uh, since it was my birthday. I decided to go ahead and get my beard trimmed. I said I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to touch the body of it for 12 months. I was seven months in. It was only 30 days ago, though, I said that I wasn't going to do anything until the end of the year. But it got to the place where I was becoming very unhappy with my beard, and I thought it was looking like a bird's nest for the most part. I wasn't happy with that. I didn't like the way it made me feel. And I guess, you know, I think one of the things that makes a difference, too, is when you have a shaved head like mine, um, the beard, it, it, it really, you don't have anything to contrast. You don't have any hair on top of your head to contrast the beard with. So it's very pronounced. It's more pronounced than it would be on somebody, I think. That's my opinion. Somebody with long, uh, with you know, hair in their head. So I really felt, and I got to the point where I was falling out of love with the idea of having a big beard. And I didn't like that because I'd already made a promise to myself that I was, was going to let it grow out for 12 months. But when I make, when I, when I fall out of love with something like that, I tend to do really stupid things like try to trim it myself cut it off completely, uh, who knows what, who knows what I would do, and, and I knew that I needed to make a rational decision, and so I decided that I needed to get it cleaned up. Now, six months ago, I think it was in February, uh, I had found a guy on YouTube that I thought did really good work. Now, there are several people that I follow on YouTube and Instagram, one which is George Bruno, I really enjoy his videos a lot for a lot of different reasons, not just for beard reasons, but for many other reasons. He's, he's just very well-rounded, but he's not in my region. And so I would have loved to go, to go to Pennsylvania to have him do my beard, but I just can't pull that off. I've been looking around Central Florida for a while, and I just kind of thought, well, I have a whole year to do that. But I found this guy on YouTube. His name is Matt Gifted Hands. Now, I don't really know what his last name is. I never asked. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is the kind of work he does. And I was just um, pleasantly surprised when I found out through his channel that he's in Central Florida. Atlanta Lakes, actually. I live in Lakeland. I'm about an hour away from him. Well, I messaged him back then, and I said, I want to have you do my beard when I get ready, because I, I looked at the work he had done, and he does so many different things, and I could tell the guy really cares about what he does. He takes a lot of pride in it, and um, that's what I want. Now, I've lived in Lakeland since 1986, and, you know, for most of those years, I didn't have a shaved head. I'd get my hair cut, and I was always very displeased with the way my hair looked. So I didn't want to entrust my beard, I didn't want to entrust my face to people that couldn't take care of the hair on top of my head. And I just, I looked around at different guys who had beards, and they, they would tell me they'd been to places in Lakeland, I didn't like their beards. So I was going to be really picky. I, I would rather tweak my beard myself a little bit than go get a trim. Now, I, I say that, but I had a beard one other time. Uh, before I had this one, and I went to a barber that I thought I could trust, and they butchered it. But when I found Matt Gifted Hands on YouTube and Instagram and realized he was in Central Florida, I knew that I'd found my guy. So I went there Saturday. He managed to pencil me in at the end of the day, for which I am very much appreciative of, since he's a busy guy. Saturdays are just enormously busy days for barbers. He sat me down in his chair. My experience there was fantastic. He's a very personable guy. Um, a young guy of 27, but the guy, I, I'm impressed with him because he's he's ambitious. And he's a craftsman. He he cares so much about what he does. And he, he you can tell he really cares about people. And that goes a long way in any business. But I would think especially in the hair business, uh, when you're that up close and personal with people, that you would need to be. And I've been to people before who just were not very personable. And I didn't, you know, it makes a difference when someone's touching you. When someone's physically touching you, it makes a difference. 
as to whether they're personable at all or not. He was. I would recommend anybody going to him, especially, uh, I, you know, if you're looking for shorter haircuts or beards, whatever. Man, he's the guy to go to. Um, and he works at, uh, he he cuts hair at uh, Headlines Barbershop in Land Lakes, Florida. I will put a link in the description below or, or some way of... Uh, something in the form of direction in the description below to let everybody know who wants to go there, how to get there. You will not regret it. I am very happy. I couldn't be happier with my experience there. And to be quite honest with you, I was still a little nervous. I knew I was going to look better than what I did when I walked out, but I was really nervous because I, I told him, I kind of gave him free reign of what he wanted to do with my beard. I was kind of that sick of it. But I knew I could trust him with, with that. But because I've had such bad experiences in the past, I still had some reservation. Uh, he did not disappoint me. When I walked out, I felt great. And, you know, I know this is going to sound a little narcissistic, but I can't help it. You know, when you when you, you get your hair done on your head, or you and you ladies who are watching this, you know this for a fact, too. You get your hair done on your head, you, when you guys get your beard trimmed, you want people to notice. You do. You may not be going around going, "Hey, look at this," but you're gonna you're gonna know if somebody sees it. And when you get compliments on it's nice, as soon as I got my beard, I had to do a little bit of run around, and uh, immediately uh, my beard was turning heads, literally. And uh, I was that that's just a that's just a testament to the work that Matt does. So Matt, if you're listening, I appreciate what you did. I will be back. And uh, for all of you out there who are considering uh, or looking for someone to do your beard, he's the guy. And there's a, I guess there's a, a handful of these headlines barbershops that you can go to. And I would not be surprised if all of them are as good as Matt is. And you know, one, one piece of advice I'd give to you guys who have beards. Uh, do what George Bruno said. George Bruno said, don't trim your beard yourself. He is so, so right about that. I've done that in the past. And I people who tell me they, they who take great pride in trimming their own beard, you talk to those guys. I trim my own beard. Yeah, I can tell. They 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 don't see what they're doing. They don't see the, what they're missing and <laughs> what they've done wrong. I don't, I'm not going to tell them. But um, my advice, my beard advice to you guys is don't trim your own beard. Don't do it. You just can't see what somebody else sees. And um, choose carefully who you go to. It makes all the difference in the world. It did for me. And um, that's about all I have to say in the subject. I, I'm going to be making a, a video pretty soon. Someone requested a, uh, a video on how to shave your head. I'm going, I'm hopefully pretty soon. i got to find the time and the privacy to do that, but... That will be one of the videos I have coming up is how to shave your head. I'm very methodical about everything I do. I have a system for everything. So I'll, I'd be more than happy to do that. And uh, if, you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Uh, like this video. Share it with uh, somebody else who uh, cares about beards and where to get them done. And uh, give me a thumbs up. So... I appreciate your time, and I will be catching you guys on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.